What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I am Connor Speed 6 Today we are on Forza Horizon 5 and taking a look at my five favorite rally roads on this amazing map. First, I want to take a moment to thank the people at Turn 10 and Playground Games for getting me early access to this amazing game. Forza Horizon 5 is masterfully done and it's simply amazing. The map the developers have created is hands down the best yet and easily the best map to date for rally racing and off-road racing lovers. I've spent a lot of time just driving around the map so far and have thoroughly enjoyed it. With no shortage of rally trails, this was not an easy list to make, especially just limiting to five. I've taken the liberty of coming up with my own names for each route on this list, so don't take it too seriously, but feel free to use these names if you would like to. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the list. Number five. Cascadas Rally Trail. This route starts in the far south part of the map under the shadow of the Gran Puente Bridge. It has a little mixture of surfaces going from dirt to tarmac, but quickly jumping back on the off-road bits. These roads wind beautifully through the small town of San Sebastian, as well as the jungle rivers and next to the scenic waterfalls. I've pieced together a few very fun and technically challenging roads to sort of build this route, but it seemed to be the most fun and most seamless way through this region of the map. Number four, Cordillera Rally Pass. Starting along the coast of the Sierra Verde Lake, the Cordillera Rally Pass provides ample opportunities to take in the scenery that the Forza Horizon 5 map has to offer us. It winds in and out of the Sierra Verde Hills before finally lunging you out into the farmlands of Southern Mexico with some really fun high-speed sections of road. This route is 100% dirt, with the exception of tarmac crossings, of course. Once you get to the end of this route, you come to the ancient Maya city of Teotihuacan, where massive pyramids still stand tall, casting an ominous shadow over the area. This route only has three different sections of road, and they are pieced together and flow perfectly. Number three, Dunas Rally Trail. When you talk about rally racing throughout Latin America, Baja racing and dune style racing is some of the most well-known forms of the sport, especially in Mexico. The developers have given us a gigantic area of rolling dunes and especially great rally roads to go along with it. The route starts and ends in nearly the same spot on the far west side of the map along the Pacific coastline. It winds you up into the dunes and around the Horizon Baja outposts before twisting and turning you into confusion. The road is tough because it tends to blend in with its surroundings a bit too well, especially once you get to the sugar white sand section of Dunas Blancas. The route opens up a bit where you can finally stretch the car's legs before finishing with a few technical bits of road, finally finishing at the beach near the arch. This is a great bit of road to test not only your car, but your skill. Number two, Rocky Coast Rally Loop. This is, in fact, the shortest of the five routes listed here, but easily could have been my favorite. The road affords a beautiful drive with incredible scenery in the backdrop. It starts in the small resort town on the far southwest coast and dives out into the lush desert where you twist and turn through some dried up riverbeds and around super tech sections with massive rock walls sure to wreck a clean run, trust me. Another thing about this route is that it has a good amount of elevation change due to the wild mix of rocky and sand topography. The route finally finishes just outside of the main Horizon Festival location. It is hands down one of my favorite rally roads in a Horizon game to date. Number one, Caldera Switchback Rally Pass. Now this has to be the most talked about bit of road on the entire map pre-release. On the east side of the Grand Caldera Volcano, there is a fantastic tarmac switchback road. But at the peak and down the west side, there is the greatest rally road ever seen in a Horizon game. At first glance, it looks pretty straightforward. However, once you are flying down the side of a volcano at over 100 miles per hour, those tiny bends, chicanes, and hairpins can get a little scary. And the roads seem to tighten up a bit. The route I ran here started at the top and basically just follows the road all the way down to the bottom and finally finishing you at Dunas Blancas. This is no doubt the best rally road in not only Horizon 5, but as I said earlier, the best rally road in any Horizon game yet. 
As you can see, rally racing in Horizon 5 is on point. No wonder it's my favorite form of racing in these games. Again, the developers have absolutely nailed the map. There are a ton of different places to explore, and I plan on doing just that. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you did, be sure to leave a like, a positive comment down below, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more weekly Forza Horizon 5 content and live streams. Thank you so much for watching. I am Connor Speed 6. Much love, everyone. See you soon.